action speaks louder than voice dear viewers do you agree on this if yes just think about it when action speaks louder you might be knowing when action speaks louder however i will explain when action is required yes before or after a job interview the company used to verify the candidates performance or are controlled by only one element called documents this document speaks louder than your voice so the document is more more important the certified document the agreed document is more important to have a good control in any organization if you refer to any process industry or oil and gas the only element speaks out for the professional people called the drawings yes the drawing speaks more louder than your voice once you decide your career to land in oil and gas or process industry before that you must know the seven types of drawing used in these industries what are they the first type of drawing is p and i t drawing it's piping and instrumentation drawing if you refer to this drawing you can understand the complete process of any system yes it will the schematic will emphasize the detailed network of processes involved in the system the each equipments are represented as a basic symbols if you want more clarification or more detail about the basic symbols you can watch my earlier videos but in the pnit you can find the detailed information about the process flow the second type of drawing is pfd it is process flow diagram yes you might be having this question what is the difference between pnid and pfd both resemble the same meaning yes in pfd process flow diagram you can find the basic information of the flow not in detail in process flow diagram you cannot find the pipeline specification in detail what is the pipeline size and what is the equipment the maintained pressure the capacity simply they will mention with the tag identification number of the equipment or simply they mention the pipeline but if you refer to the p and i d you can get more details if you want to emphasize the simple process they made this pfd to show the simple process flow in the system the third type of drawing is isometric drawing yes here the isometric drawing resembles the isometric view like the elevated view the condition how it got connected it is somewhat like the 3d view from the 2d drawings yes if you refer to the pnid drawing you can see the pipeline say 3 inch with some pipeline specification or designation mentioned with that designation it is you can refer to the isometric drawing sometimes the pipeline is connected to the vessels or pipeline is connected to other big reactors you can find how it is going what is the height and what is the projection it is going to reach to other equipments in pnd drawing generally you can understand the simple network in 2d form but in isometric drawing you can verify or you can analyze what is the real situations in the site what is the height what is the depth and how it is connecting with the other equipments in 3d type the how the equipments or the process got controls you can refer to the logic diagrams yes in the logic you can refer or you can analyze how the system is getting control when the system will stop when the system will stop depends on the temperature depends on the pressure depends on the flow yes how we are doing the automation you can analyze you can refer to the logical diagrams so all lot of industries they are using the logical diagrams 
before any process engineer or control engineer want to do any troubleshooting, he used to refer this logic diagrams. Any process, if you refer to any process diagram or any PNIT, you will find a lot of equipments. Yes, if you want to understand the equipments in detail, you need to refer to the cross-sectional diagram of the particular equipment. Yes, the name itself mentioned cross section you can find the internals of the equipments say for example if you want to see what is inside the compressor you can refer to the compressor manual it is clearly mentioned with respect to the cross section diagram how many impellers inside the compressor what type of rotor they have used how many what type of bearing they have used how the flow the inlet the outlet it's all referred in the cross sectional diagram Coming to the sixth type of drawing, it's the general arrangement drawing. Yes, it is very simple how the equipment looks. If you refer to the PN driving, you will find the, the complete process systems involved. What are the equipments involved? So if you want to refer to the equipments, how it looks, similar to the cross-sectional drawing, it will give the outline of the equipments, how it appears, what is the general ar arrangement. How the arrangements yes if it is the turbine or if it is some vessels or columns what are the associated equipments connected how the pipelines are connected how it looks in the site you can verify in the general arrangement drawing the next type of drawing is civil land structural drawing yes everybody know about this drawing if you want to see the process where it is in short, you can refer to the civil drawing. Yes, the civil drawing will explain you the structural designations or specifications involved. What is the capacity? If you want to load the overhead crane, how much time capacity can withstand in that structure? You can verify in that drawing. So if you decided to proceed with the oil and gas career, you must know these seven types of drawing. Without this drawing, never ever think to proceed in oil and gas career. So if you have more information or clarification, leave your comment in the comment section and I will catch you with more interesting videos. See you then.